now available for pre-order on Kindle. Stop simping in cyberspace. Learn how to avoid predatory females in their virtual con games with Stop Simping in Cyberspace. Pre-order your copy of Stop Simping in Cyberspace on Kindle today. In a previous video, I said that Brian Landry, the suspect in the death of Gabby Petito, might possibly be a beta male, like I describe in my book, The Man Crisis. And after doing a bit more research on the case of Brian Landry and his background, I can clearly say that he fits the pattern and profile for beta males that I go into detail in my book, The Man Crisis. And one of the traits that a beta male has is being very controlling. Now, your beta male, whenever he gets into a relationship with a woman, oftentimes becomes very controlling. And the reason why he becomes very controlling is because your beta male is extremely insecure. Now, your beta male it becomes insecure because he cannot trust his partner and he cannot trust his partner because he is oftentimes afraid of other male competition. Now, your beta male does not really believe that he is worthy of a relationship, and because he does not believe he is worthy of a relationship, he oftentimes projects his fears onto his female partner, and those fears are oftentimes the thing that winds up undoing the relationship. Now, your beta male, whenever he gets involved with a woman, he does not trust in her to love him, and that's because he does not really love himself. And because he does not love himself, he does not have faith in his partner, and because he does not have faith in his partner to make her own choices regarding the relationship, he oftentimes tries to make those choices for her, and this is what leads to many of your beta males becoming extremely controlling. Whenever a beta male gets involved with a woman, oftentimes he, his insecurities will get the better of him, and he will start doing small gestures, like whenever he sees his girlfriend looking at another man, his face will twist into a scowl, or when he sees his girlfriend starting to talk to another man, she will notice, you can notice that his body language starts to change and starts to really get defensive. Now, some of these beta males, they'll participate in these passive kind of behaviors, but others will start to become more aggressive. And as they become more aggressive, they will start to demand who this person is that you're talking to, and they will start trying to do things to try to minimize your contact with your friends and your family because the beta male does not trust his girlfriend to go out here and do things on her own or live the life that she lived that she had before she got involved with him because what this man wants to do is he wants to, con again, control the woman because he does not believe he is man enough to have a relationship with her and oftentimes when he's in that relationship with her it's a very very shallow relationship because it's all about him having social status with this woman and the woman is primarily an attachment for him to get the attention of other people in social circles because the girlfriend is not a person he's having a relationship with no she is like an object in his eyes and what he fears is that somebody is going to take this valuable object away from him and that he won't be able to be the cool person that he wants to be because he gets all of his social brownie points with that woman and he cannot do this on his own because oftentimes again because he's insecure he does not have any confidence in himself and because he does not have any confidence in himself, your beta male, this is what makes him very afraid, and it's that fear that turns into anger. 
Now, your Brian Landry, as related to reports that are presented in the media, was said to be a very controlling and manipulative boyfriend. And in one incident, it was alleged that he stole Petito's ID so that she wouldn't be able to go to bars without him. And again, this is textbook beta male behavior because the beta male fears that the woman is going to see other men at places like bars and she may talk, start talking to that guy. And if she sees that guy, he fears he may lose that girl. And that's why he wanted to take away that ID because he wanted to be able to ensure that the girl would still stay with him. And that, th when I look at this whole case, again, that's textbook beta male behavior. And as they went on in the articles, they talk about how he would have these episodes where he would hear things and hear voices and wouldn't sleep. And that really shows me how deeply dysfunctional this man was regarding this woman and how he wanted to just have so much power over this woman because he probably feared he would never get another girlfriend who was as attractive as your Gabby Petito. And that's another thing that really drives these beta males to be so controlling is oftentimes if they get a very attractive girlfriend, they fear they will never find another woman who is that attractive. But when they go out here and get involved with that woman, they just show this woman how ugly they are because these guys oftentimes they're just so insecure that they don't really understand that this woman does love them and does care about them, but it is their dysfunction and insecurity that drive the woman away because it's hard to have a relationship with a man who you can continuously need to reassure because when women go out here and have relationships with a man, they want to have a relationship with a man they can know that they can have faith in, a man they know that they can walk away from, and a man who they can go out here and have their own times by themselves, because part of a relationship is having time to yourself, to be by yourself. But with this guy, it's basically like trying to take care of a small child. And this guy, he's just constantly so needy that he becomes like, a, again, a child. And that's what happened here with probably with Gabby Petito as related to this Brian Landry. He got a beautiful girl on his arm, and he, his insecurities wound up becoming so out of control that he just wound up trying to control her because he had very little control over himself. And because he had very little control over himself, he kept trying to go out here and control the woman by trying to continue to squeeze on, squeeze the woman and continuing to press her. But when you continue to try to squeeze a person, this is what winds up making them slip out from your grip because whenever you try to grab and control a person like this, it just makes them either try to get out of your grip or it makes them try to pull away from you. And that's what oftentimes happens to women who have relationships with beta males. They wind up trying to get away from this guy because his behavior becomes more and more erratic and more and more disturbing. Now, if this guy was hearing things and hearing voices, his behavior was becoming more erratic, and that fits right into the line of the pattern for beta males when they get into relationships, because that's how your simp turns into a psycho simp, excuse me, um, because these guys, they just become so possessive, so jealous, and what happens is, is that they just go out here and just start losing it, and it looks like to me from many of the articles, they are saying that he also would have these episodes. Now, these episodes, again, fit into the pattern and profile I talk about regarding beta males in my book, The Man Crisis, because oftentimes your beta males will simmer and boil in anger when they're in a relationship, and they'll go out here and explode in these, in these rages, and they will yell at their girlfriends, some of them will even hit their girlfriends, and this is all due to their insecurities. Now, they are also saying that he would not be able to sleep, and that really, again, shows how deeply disturbed this beta male was, because he's not even able to sleep because he's just so fixated 
and so obsessed with this relationship and and he's so afraid he's going to lose the girl of his dreams and that again is what beta males do because beta males they just do not trust the women in their lives to love them and these men it's hard for them to love because they were they don't really even know what love is a lot of these men do not understand that when in, in love a man can let go in love a man can give a woman space and in love a man can can understand that this woman is who she is and what really I believe upset Brian Landry as I stated in my previous video was the fact that he saw that his girlfriend was growing and changing into another woman and she was no longer the fantasy that he had imagined in his mind now your Gabby Petito had built up a strong presence on social media she had gone out here and started developing herself and for a beta male this is like putting gasoline on dynamite because your beta male whenever somebody starts to change that's when they really start to lose it because in the beta males rose-colored world he wants everything smooth and he wants his girlfriend to remain the same girl that he fell in love with or started to have his fantasies with because it's not love because these men do not love women they love the fantasy they have built around the woman they love the world they have built around this woman but they do not love the woman because they do not know the woman as a person and what happened in the case of Brian Landry is I believe that on this trip across country he started to get to know the woman and as that as he started to get to know this woman for who she really was it started to shatter his rose-colored reality and it started to make his world start to be really rough because here he was dealing with a grown woman who had her own mind had her own opinions had her own thoughts and he could not get away from this woman for extended periods of time and because he could not get away from this woman for extended periods of time this is what led to him simmering and boiling in that anger and he's been already again having brief explosions of anger and rage and this relationship was falling apart but you couldn't explain this to the beta male because he's sitting there angry and enraged because he doesn't understand that people change, people grow, people become completely different people, and that's just a part of life. But the beta male, like a Brian Landry, as alleged in this case, he wants the woman to remain the same. He wants her to still be that same person he, again, built his fantasies and his world around. And he was having episodes because he could not deal with the reality that this woman was becoming a different person this woman was becoming a different growing into a different person with different ideas and thoughts than that they that she had when she was a teenager and he could not deal with the fact that she was her own woman and this is why he was winding up losing it and as I see it again these are textbook beta male behaviors that these mama's boys have because these boys they, 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 they don't grow up to become men and they don't get the proper male life skills or proper male survival skills because their parents have enabled them and that's what I believe happened here with Brian Landry is he was a very again enabled boy sheltered by his parents and he has no coping skills and that's why he wound up being so controlling not understanding that teenage love is not meant to go on forever that was something I learned way back when I was a teenager that the, that when you're a teenager yes you may have feelings for that person but as you get older you're you're going to again break up anyway because you're going to change into different people and this guy he couldn't deal with it and again his insecurities he felt really I can look at his body language and see how weak and and emote and insecure this guy was and he was again very scared of losing what he thought was an extremely attractive woman who was radiating confidence and he was starting to see that this woman was starting to pull away from him 
And one of the reasons she was pulling away from him was because of his insecurities. And I believe that's possibly one of the reasons that he was just so, was starting to further get more and more heated. Because when I look at the video from the body cam footage as related to this report, I mean, this guy has extremely beta male language. And again, when it comes down to the beta male, they, they cannot handle a relationship because they want to be the ones who control everything. And they want to control everything again because they can't control themselves. They can't control who, how, how they feel about things because they don't know how to navigate through their emotions regarding a relationship. And a lot of them don't understand what, a, what, a, what the model of a healthy relationship is because they've never had it modeled for them. Now, in a healthy relationship, a man and a woman, yes, they do love each other and spend time with each other, but they also have time away from each other where they just go hang with their girls. Or if you're a dude, you're just hanging out with your homies and you guys are just sitting up chilling and having your own good time. And often, and even in the cases of a girl, she's having time with her parents. A, a person has a balanced life. They have a life outside of you. And that's what a healthy man understands. And he's actually glad for that time because he can have that time to go out here and chill. But when a beta, with a beta male, he does not understand these kind of concepts because he wants to go out here and be with this woman every day. But what he does when he does this is, again, squeeze that woman so tight that she pulls out of his grip or he winds up smothering her to the point where she has no life or no passion at all. And that's why getting involved with a beta male is a very toxic situation because a beta male is not a person who understands things like boundaries and they don't understand how to have a healthy relationship with a woman because they don't see the woman as a person. No, a beta male sees a woman as a possession. And because they see them as a possession, this is what possibly may lead to them thinking about destroying that person because they believe that if this person doesn't do what they want, they believe they have a right to destroy them because they have because that person isn't doing what they want. But that's not what a loving, caring human being does. A loving, caring human being understands that if a person doesn't agree with them in a relationship, that's perfectly fine. It just means that you have a different opinion and you have a right to your opinion and you have a right to your space and you have a right to be treated um, the way you, you a person should be treated. But beta males don't understand this and this is what makes them extremely dangerous individuals to go out here and date and have a relationship with. But when I look at this case more and more, it's fitting the pattern and profile regarding beta males that I talk about in my book, The Man Crisis. And many of my viewers are starting to see that same pattern. So I'm seeing that the book has an impact on people. And I'm hoping that more people will get their lives transformed by this book. And I'm hoping that it will save more people's lives so that they won't wind up like Gabby Petito. Now, if you want to learn more about beta males and how dangerous they are, you can pick up my book, The Man Crisis, on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. You can also find The Man Crisis on Smashwords, the iBook store, and Google Play. And this book will teach you how the, to, the dangers of beta males, and it has transformed many lives, and it has helped many men move their lives forward, and it has helped many men break out of this paradigm and move their lives forward. Now, if you want to see me make more videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon, my PayPal, or my Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.